and the way that you approach some of your interviews and just the broadcast, there's an ease, there's like a laid backness to you. Where does that come from? That's my personality. Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica, I, I just, I told myself um, when I got to the big leagues at the beginning, I was trying to, you know, just be that yes guy of like, okay, you want me to hit like this? I'll hit like this. You want me to throw like yeah. this? I'll throw like this. You want me to field like this? I'll field like this. Um, I came to the conclusion later on in my career that if I was going to do something, I was going to do it my way. I was going to show my personality. If I wanted to have fun in the game, I was going to have fun in the game, but I was always going to respect the game in the process. Um, same thing goes with this. At the beginning, I will not lie to you. When that red light turned on, I was Mr. Nervous. I mean, the, the, the heartbeat would, would be racing doing baseball tonight. Um, but the more reps you get, and the more you understand that it translates better if you are who you are, instead of just trying to, to be a uh, cookie cutter, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Um, I have an experience that not a lot of people have. Right. Having all that background that we spoke about earlier. And because of that, I need to be able to get that across to the fan and get that across to the player as well, that I was at one time sitting where you were Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm here just to help you. And that's why I'm involved with the rookie program that Major League Baseball and the Players Association has, because I understand the process and how hard it is to not only get to the big leagues, but to stay there and um, to be able to be a fan favorite for your for your fan base.